Welcome to the Automotive Blockchain Channel. Hey everyone, welcome, welcome, welcome. I want to give a quick shout out to my subscribers as well as those who are new to the channel. Hey, we have more than four doors. Jump on in. We are about to get started. But before I do, I want to send a quick love dub to all of you out there listening to this particular channel. I appreciate the visitation and we are getting rolling. So, first up, is the blockchain AI and optimizing smart parking. So this came out a little bit earlier in November. Um, Arti Artificial Intelligence Lab Fetch I AI and blockchain firm Datarella or Datarea, I'm not sure how they pronounce it, Datarea, um, <laughs> have launched a pilot project in Munich, Germany called MZone, which will focus on using AI powered software agents to better optimize smart parking. Now, listen, everybody. Whether you want to accept this or not, there everywhere across the uh, world that I've seen, um, that I've been looking, a lot of these companies are going to be utilizing smart parking. And with smart parking comes an increase in technology of your vehicles. So yes, that means that if there's going to be smart parking, there's going to be semi-autonomously driven vehicles or fully autonomously driven vehicles um, that you will be able to link with a smart app on your phone, on your wrist, or whatever, as you can see right here in this picture. So in this particular article, it says smart parking has become an increasingly important part of enabling the smart infrastructure, smart cities, smart cars, etc. For a greater whole of smart cities, smart parking helps fit more vehicles into appropriate spaces without the intervention of human drivers, which means you'll have a little valet or a kiosk. Um, it could be a, a, a digital valet. It could be a human valet. just depends on how that company wants to do it. But they will then, uh, you'll just check your car in at the front of the building. Your car will swing around and go to the appropriate parking space. Um, I would even imagine it perhaps going as deep as if you were going to be going shopping, you would kind of plug in that you're going to be gone for two hours um, and then a uh, small uh, micro transaction uh, of a particular currency would then be placed onto your, uh, you know, onto your app or whatever. And then you'd be charged for that amount of time. Your car would then be parked into, let's say, uh, one of those specialized parking spaces that would be designated for that time slot. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that if you go over, um, you make it charge more. So that is kind of like my hypothesis on how I can imagine that sort of thing working. But in this particular case, Fetch and, uh, and Datarella trial will use public transportation through a tokenized incentive system while reducing congestion that contributes to CO2 emissions. Let's not forget that there is a global initiative to reduce CO2 emissions by 2025, 20, uh, 2030. It is happening, and guess what, people? No matter what your political persuasion is on whether CO2 is a thing or not, this is being, in my opinion, being pushed forward. Okay? So, now, uh, the particular person here is a person by the name of hum Humayun Sheik. Humayun Sheik is the CEO of Fetch AI, and here's what he said: Parking is one of the, was one part of a bigger mobility picture, but in our view, is a cornerstone. Um, is a cornerstone one. So it is a key part of this entire view. Up to one fourth of the cars in the road in cities are looking for a parking space. So it has a huge impact on the transportation infrastructure. This is what Humayun Sheik has stated. So Sheik said that the multi-agent systems running on a decentralized network help to coordinate complex tasks between multiple vehicles that have not been previously possible. Okay, so you have to think about the AI, the artificial intelligence involved on coordinating where all these cars are coming from um, and where they're going to be parked. I could even fathom in this particular case, I could even fathom that AI, uh, and this is going to be somewhere in the future, would be able to designate saying, hey, um, your car is leaving your garage, your smart garage in your smart city, and it knows that you typically will park in certain parking spaces, so it'll probably have a parking space ready for you when you get there. Um, you know, and you won't have to necessarily pay uh, pay an extra uh, an additional amount. Um, it'll just be notification saying parking is available there, um, and it'll direct you directly to the route of wherever your parking is going to be that is available. So I just kind of like uh, kind of like that idea. Now, me myself, I live in a rural, uh, very very rural area, so <laughs> I'm not too worried about parking. Uh, but that said, the goal is to take people who are driving every day and nudge them towards less intensive usage on the car park. 
So they hope that they'll be able to significantly reduce the amount of CO2 um, being released and ultimately provide the city with, uh, of Munich with a sustainable option. Now, here's the thing. Here's how it works. All right. So AI-powered blockchain technology allows businesses to deploy autonomous economic agents. They call these AEAs. you got to love the acronyms for everything, I'm telling you. So these are going to be intelligent programs that are built with predefined goals and skills. The system is integrated into a building infrastructure where all the cameras and the machine vision log and the vehicles as they uh, enroll vision log uh, vehicles as they enter the parking structure as well as vehicles position. Now, I want to take a quick moment here. Think about this for a second. For all of you who are sitting at the automotive dealerships, okay, think about the parking systems that are in uh, that are just a hassle. You know, there are people who, who control the keys, uh, key uh, the key lock systems, and you go to try to find a car and the car is parked behind three other cars in the parking garage or the parking deck or the parking lot. You know, that's a pain in the butt. Well, in this particular thing, imagine autonomously driven vehicles where all you'd have to do is kind of punch a couple of things. All the vehicles that were in the way of the vehicle you want to get to would be able to move out of the way and the vehicle you want would be pulled right up to the front of the dealership. How about that for the, how about those donuts? Anyway, so let's move on from there. Um, now, the reward, there's going to have a, a reward system. So M-Zone will solve the needs in a couple different ways. And remember, there is, there is no blockchain enabled system that is worth having unless it's solving problems okay so mzone will solve the needs of the smart city by doing a couple of things first they're saying it's going to save time and money by reducing commuter and driver stress simplify approval for new development projects up for property owners now i'm here to tell you uh, my opinion on that particular statement by simplifying approval for new development projects it to me that sounds like there could be a bunch of money saying hey you know what if you do this with your parking system you'll get this back so you either get some type of kickback from the city tax wise or whatever i could see how that could play into that line item right there once again this is just conjecture i'm telling you it's just conjecture i have no proof that that's going to be the case but i can definitely see how that could be something coming into it Third, lowering rent by sharing dynamic parking spots. For, uh, number uh, four, optimizing traffic flows into cities and lessening the negative effects of CO2. And if you're wondering, how is it going to optimize traffic flows into cities? Well, here's the thing. If your car knows which parking garage to go to because it knows that there's going to be parking available in those particular areas, it'll help direct you to that, that parking garage more efficiently versus you driving around trying to figure out, is this particular parking garage available? And you get there because you're five minutes late and that parking garage is now full, so you've got to circle around the block. You get my point in all this, all right? The reward system will help incentivize drivers to reduce the number of car trips to the Conex buildings. That would be these parking garages and corporate offices. All right. As measured by the utilization of parking spaces, each registered user that uses the car park will be awarded with a certain number of tokens per minute for not parking in the parking lot. As soon as a car or its wallet address is registered as parked in the car park app, the token airdrops to the wallet. The number of tokens rewarded per wallet and minute depends on the current utilization of the parking lot. So you have that thing there, um, and she goes on to say one other thing about that. Individuals will be incentivized to use park transport by being rewarded with digital coins in their wallets. So, and you know, they're at this point in time, I'm not sure where those particular coins will be able to be used. Maybe in future parking, maybe gift certificates at the, you know, at the coffee shop in the building. Who knows? Uh, there could be a number of different things there. But uh, they will be using these FET tokens to incentivize the behavior, uh, behaviors associated with the M zone trial. But longer term, with any token, could be. Uh, of greater incentives. So another thing with this is that they're going to say that there are more pilots to come. And remember at the beginning of this video, folks, I said there are many of these uh, smart parking projects going on around the world. Highlighted in blue, Human Horizons is working on a valet service in Shanghai. China, yes, China, using LiDAR, radar, and communication devices in parking areas to identify and track vehicles and obstacles inside the parking structure. 
a different valet system project is taking place uh, in the automotive core of Detroit, Michigan. That's here in the United States. How, and now, in this project, Ford, Bosch, and parking vendor Bedrock said that the automated valet could save the same amount of space to yield about 20% more vehicles inside the parking structure. Now, think about this. If it's going to be giving 20% more vehicles inside the parking structure, you have to consider a couple of things. That means that they're going to be getting a little bit more money, 20% more money, because more vehicles are going to be able to park inside of their structure. It's no different than a football stadium, and that's either American football or the rest of the world football. Um, that is able to readjust the seating inside of a stadium to fit more fans inside the stadium. You just end up getting more people at the game, increasing the amount of money that you have participating at that event. So Cornell University has also created a parking software to match drivers with parking garage spots. This is in order to help reduce congestion and emissions while saving drivers the time spent finding spots. So there you have it with this article. Um, about car parking. It's one of those things that are out there, and I'm here to tell you it is coming to a city near you. It is in testing phase right now. So start thinking about where this plays a role in your personal life. Now, this is not financial advice at all, but I strongly suggest that as you start to think about where your life is moving, if you're one of those people who have commuted to many different places, and let's put a big pause right there, all right? Big fat pause. Let's just be honest. With everything going on in the world today, we don't know how we're going to be returning to the city. We don't know how much we are going to be commuting. So in my opinion, companies like these may have to keep that in mind um, with how smart parking is going to be. So there you have it with this particular article. Hey, everybody. Thanks for jumping on in for the ride. Let me know what you think in the comments about smart parking. And we'll get back to you in the next video. Mm -hmm.